new products. And actually, I want to cover uh, a couple of new products that I showed last week. So very slightly old products, but not all that old, really. Um, let's uh, jump to down shooter here. And me there. So here's some things that I covered uh, last week, I think, but didn't have all of them in stock. So I got in some of these really nice, uh, change the focus there. There we go. Um, connectors. So we have a bunch of these different snap action connectors. Uh, and I wanted to show one in action. So this, you can see, this takes two wires in and gives you two sets of three, so six out, but it's, it's color-coded. So whatever wire is coming into this orange side is going to be replicated on these three here. So if I take another uh, pre-stripped stranded wire, works really well. Click that down. And now that's not coming out uh, really secure. And those are now connected. Same over here. I'll do that again. So I've got one of these. Click. And now we get uh, a nice force multiplier there. So this one will do uh, three different wires to uh, triple them. This is five one-to-one. -one. These are just one-to-one. -one. And this is one-to-five. Uh, so I think that's it. I think those are all the new, new ones that we got in of those. Um, so I wanted to show those so you could see what they looked like. Now I have them on hand. Uh, and then I also wanted to show, I got the uh, Neo Feather S2 blingy. That's the header pins that come with it. There's the actual feather. Uh, so here it is. Make something unexpected from Unexpected Maker. Uh, this has a USB C connector on it. I can go ahead and give this power. Uh, this is as much as I've done with it so far, which is just power it on and see that it works. And it's also got a nice little demo because it has a set of NeoPixels right in the middle there. Uh, so it does a little hello for you when you first plug that in. Oh yeah, and thank you. Over in the um, Discord chat and YouTube chat, George Graves has posted the links to those different snap action uh, wiring connectors, block connectors that I showed. And this one too, this cool, cool new feather. Uh, so those were the, the new products that I got that I wanted to show. And I'll demo some of those other ones in the future once I've used them, used them a little more. Uh, and then looking at new products this week, if we head up to, here we go. Scroll down just a little bit. Uh, so this one, uh, this actually, I don't think I, sh I mentioned this one last week. I don't have one of these yet in stock. Oh, I have an extra face on top of my face. Let me get rid of that. There I am. Uh, so this is a snap action connector buckle, pack of two, uh, orange DF24. So this allows you to connect some of the snap action block connectors side by side, which is pretty cool. It's like a modular system. Uh, really good if you're doing installations, uh, Burning Man, theater, uh, lighting stuff, Halloween, uh, holiday things, any kinds of big uh, installations, particularly using audio cabling, uh, any kind of uh, NeoPixel stuff you're doing. These are um, going to make life easier and allow you to connect these side by side by side. Uh, pretty cheap too, 75 cents for a pack of two. Uh, then another one that is new this week is the 16 by 9 Charlieplexed PWM LED Matrix Driver. It uses the IS31 FL 3731 uh, driver and this has been Stemma QTified. Uh, I believe we had this before, but now we've got the Stemma QT version. And uh, this is a driver board that you can plug in any of the single color matrix uh, LED boards. So you can see them actually, I'll just hold them right there. Uh, you can see we've got these uh, 16 or 9 by 16 LED single color. This is not RGB stuff, single color. Uh, and you can uh, 
put these together, solder it in place, or use headers if you want to change the colors out. And now you can drive it using Stemma QT and do all kinds of cool uh, Charlie Plexed matrix LED effects. These are the tiny, tiny, teeny little ones that are soldered on the diagonal so that they fit uh, as close together as, as they can and look super cool. Let's see, what's next? Uh, we have the three volt to five volt level booster in Stemma QT. So last week we showed the other way around. So again, if you're using a microcontroller uh, that has a different logic level than your uh, devices that you're plugging into uh, over Stemma QT over I squared C, now you can go in either direction. You can have five volt boards go into three volt sensors. You can have three volt boards going to five volt sensors. Uh, so those are, are all options. And now we have the, uh, the, the complementary pair. So maybe just pick up some so that you're, you're ready. Um, next one we have here, this is the uh, Stemma QT multiplexer, now four channel version. So we had the eight channel version before. This is using this PCA9546 chip. And this allows you to plug in a microcontroller into one port and then plug in four I squared C devices that share the same address. And normally you can't do that, but this fixes it. This allows the board to pull those devices, ask for their information, and then send it all up to the microcontroller, even if all four of those devices have a shared I squared C address that can't be changed. This is a nice way to solve that. Uh, and we had a version that did this with eight, but some people said, hey, I'd like a version that just does four. Uh, you can save a little bit of money and get this four, uh, four version, four channel version instead of the, the eight. Uh, and then we also have just instead of this, this Stemma QT version, we also have on the way the uh, just pin solder version that you'd mount to a breadboard or to a permaproto. Uh, and that, I believe, is your new products.